Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode eight of Dudes Watch a Movie. Uh, I am Dead Sprocket, joined on my left here, Notorious JNG. And today we're doing a month long, not really month long, I suppose it's only two movies, video game movies. That's our theme. Um, that being said, we watched the uh, <laughs> terrible, horrible, no good, very bad movie, Blood Rain. Two, three. I mean, Oh, it's the three, the Third Reich. Oh yeah, it was, it was <laughs> dog shit. It was fucking awful. I'd like to say it was the breast movie ever, but that would be very wrong. Very wrong indeed. It was one of the f- few good things in that movie, honestly. I'll tell you what though, it went tits up. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> oh boy, it was... Oh, I was waiting for a third one. You let me down. Ah. I mean, I mean, it was a story about two breast friends. See, you ruined it. It's over. You missed it. You missed it. And it, no, it wasn't. It was a story about fucking nothing. Nothing happened in that movie. Nothing had a reason. It was dog shit. It's dog shit. I'm offended by that movie that we just saw. I mean, we went along the guidelines, okay? I hadn't seen the movie. You hadn't seen the movie. It's it's video game-ish related. It's Italian and Nazis, you know? I remember watching the original Blood Rain in high school, thinking that was pretty cool. And now I realize that's because this movie was made by 15 year olds. It's, so it's true. nothing but what a 15 year old would think is cool. It's got vampire lesbian fighting Nazis with just random soldiers and blood and guts everywhere. But honestly, not enough blood and guts. It's true. Didn't have the spray effect that I was expecting from. Old slasher movies, yeah. the the overabundance. In fact, this was uh, a lot of CGI blood, just kind of spraying mm-hmm. randomly, mm-hmm. bullets hitting. Uh, another thing, fifteen year old wrote it, jumped straight out to me. One liners, yes, awful, yes. awful, 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 awful one liners. Terrible one liners, above terrible. Yes, yeah. I agree. Uh, I actually wrote that on there. Cheesy one-liners everywhere with a quote and gross. Yeah. Um, they did that thing where they speed up the action scenes to try and make it a little bit more... Maybe it's because there's a vampire yeah. who fights faster. I think it's probably just because they weren't very well trained at it and they didn't spend a lot of time rehearsing or anything like that. And so it was just like, speed it up to make it look like they know what they're doing. And there were certain shots they did the opposite, where they slowed it down to make it last longer. Frame but the rate. frame rate was just jumping all over the place. All of those, uh, what are those shots called? Just to set up the scene. Oh, you're establishing it, shots? Yes, where they were. Those were, it's like they were given a, a two second clip and like, we can only use, we only have this two second footage, let's extend it to four or five. <laughs> uh, we gotta right. make time. Exactly. That uh, 10 minute mark. Oh man, what else was bad besides that? <laughs> oh boy. Um, why did the dude in that opening shot shoot that old lady? I mean, they all get to the place and he's like, give me a second. A bang! And then walks away with the doctor. Yeah. It, nothing. Nothing on this movie had any sort of purpose to it, as far as I could tell. Didn't matter if they were doing something, if they were saying something, if they were going to do something. There was no real, real point to it. Oh, fuck me. It's so upsetting. Um, They would be talking and they would be like, well, who's that? And then we'll say they do something. And then they go on to explain what it is, but say, I guess you have to know about it. What? Huh? What? I guess it's taking into account that maybe who who wants to watch this movie has seen the first two. Well, they weren't talking about other things related to, like, blood rain. They were talking about some form of, like, science that the doctors do. I don't... It was stupid. It was dumb. It was dialogue just for the sake of dialogue to make the time go by. That's all it was. I'm sorry. Okay. It was awesome. I pick, but I had to stick with the guidelines. But anyway, uh, I really don't have much good things to say. I just have an, all sorts of why, when, but everything just... There's one thing I did take notice. There's not a lot going on in the background of a lot of the shots. Nope. Very empty. Empty. Or there's no, like, props. There's nothing there. Um, if people are doing anything, it's of no importance whatsoever. 
Um, another thing, the the Nazis, that accent of, not an accent, but an accent, but maybe an <laughs> the accent. The accent? The lack of accent? Here you go. The main Nazi protagonist was straight up played by an American doing an American accent. There was not even a hint of him trying to fake an accent. I hope he didn't get paid much. I hope nobody got paid much except for maybe, maybe the casting director. Even then, I mean, if it's your job to get a good character, I think he failed in that part. You know, like, that's that's his job. I mean, the only reason I wanted to get paid is because he played the biggest troll in everybody. Like, give that guy his money. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, go go cast me some Germans. Okay, here's four Americans, a French person, and someone maybe from Latin America, just for the fuck of it. John, Amanda, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. And you know what? For how American everyone was, it still was super hard to understand some of the dialogue. It's true. Like, I don't know if it was they are mumbling their lines or, like, the mix was bad or what it was, but half the movie, even if there was no accent, I could not tell what was being said. I was just getting lost in the story, if there was a story. What I pieced together, what I managed to piece together from all the terrible dialogue, which there's a lot of... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, she was a problem in the past, and... I'm guessing this is taking place in a setting where vampires are just now being discovered because they didn't seem shocked to find out she was a vampire, but at the same time the doctor was just like, oh, hey, it's just you a vampire. You should know that, yeah. Um, but what I was gathering from everything was they wanted her specific blood to give to Hitler to make him live forever. And so there's this convoluted backstory of these rebels who are trying to intercept it for some reason or another. I mean, I really didn't understand what they were doing there. I don't either. Dar Not I mean, a clue. We got some die-hard Blood Rain fans. If you still exist in the folds, that is where you come from. Please explain to me what the hell is going on because I have no idea. I would be surprised if none of that was in the game. They were just like, let's just use the name Blood Rain. Was there even, was there even another game or was there only one game? I have no idea. I, mean, I just... For certain reason, doubt that they ever made a game where she was killing Nazis. I do know it was during the time where the voluptuous ladies were a big hit in the mm -hmm. gaming industry. It mm -hmm. was all about overexposure of body and excessiveness to that. On that top of blood and vampires. Mm -hmm. It's the strongest part of this movie. <laughs> they were very, they were very supportive. There was like supportive. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> There were, uh, there were two things that got me into this movie. It was alcohol and just breasts, honestly. <laughs> I was starting a boob counter, <laughs> but I got to a point where it just, I couldn't keep up. The numbers don't go that high. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know what to count anymore. <laughs> the overexposure of cleavage and the amount of nipples we got going on. And some of the stuff that just didn't make sense. Was she living in a brothel? Bordello? Was she just staying I there? Know. I like, don't know. She seemed to have a personal connection with these people, these ladies there. And then she immediately gets betrayed by them. Um, and she gets a, a, a lesbian massage from a thick lady, I might add, who then disappears. And then she gets a massage later by someone else. Yeah, that, that turns was into the obligatory lesbian scene. Yep. Which, if I want to go deep with this one, I was thinking maybe it's because they're trying to sell the oversexualization of what it is to be a vampire. Or maybe this film was made by a 15 year old who it's thought giving boobs them, are cool. Giving the movie too much. Way too much. I, I, tr I, I tried to analyze why he did this. You know what the worst part is? Is if it is what you're thinking, then they just did the same thing two times in that movie. Because they also did it when the original prostitute was in that cage and she was beckoning over the resection Howard is, is him. She was, she was expressing her, her vampire's ability to charm people. I'm stretching. You're stretching <laughs> hard. I mean, it's what she was doing, I guess, but it was just awful. And he's, he's like, nah, I'm just gonna walk in this cage with this vampire. Yeah, I'm ready for it with the holy water and my little cross stake or whatever. But I feel like 
That man has no physical attributes whatsoever. I so badly wanted to give it the justice of... I was hoping it was going to happen when they were in the bar, but it didn't because I had seen good movies in the past. But I was really anticipating a scene where they were at the table and then the spy lady comes over to seduce them. I was hoping maybe she was a vampire in some way or another and like the shot was actually holy water and it was going to be a ruse that got lifted. But again, I was giving them too, too much, much credit. Too much. I was just like, that would have been so much better. But it didn't. It's just so bad. If you had to pick the worst thing about this movie, what would it be? Because that's, that's honestly the toughest question. Oh. I think it's Clint Howard. Oh, I man. I want to make sure that's his name. I want to make sure It was. I, I checked okay. the credits. His, so he Clint is, Howard was playing yeah. the role of Doctor. He is credited yes. as Doctor. There's no name for this the doctor other than doctor doctor okay well doctor was the worst part he's the guy in Waterboy who has his little speech and he's like because of you I believe in myself right. now and he's I'm trying to remember movies. what Adam Sandler would be I don't know what he was going was. for with his with his voice that he was doing it wasn't German it was just kind of annoying and still had the hint of like southern to it yes remarkable healing ability everything he said made me want to punch him I want to say he was going for the cliche Timothy German scientist guy, but I feel like there's moments where that is necessary and the rest of it can be just dialogue, but he played that the whole entire film. Yeah, it was hot garbage. It was terrible. I used to really like him from my childhood, seeing him in those movies. I was like, that guy seems like a nice guy, but now I'm like 90% sure he's Satan. <laughs> I think he is literally... Just because he played the role? No. Not the role of Satan, but just yet. the role in this movie. No. It Look, it's either he is horseshit, you evil, or you evil is horseshit, or he was like, you know what, this movie's horseshit, and I'm just going to give a horseshit performance. Might be all three. <laughs> Maybe you're stretching it. Maybe he was desperate for money. Someone's got to eat. I don't care. Uh, I noticed the one thing, too. Uh, a lot of the fights take place in the dark. Is that just to... Hide from the ability to not hit people. Probably. Maybe Probably. during all these fights. Also, excessive camera shaking. Oh, yeah. Holy hot garbage. Mm -hmm. I, I know you're trying to go <laughs> for an action scene, but good good lord, man. Or lady, whoever the cameraman or lady was. Not good. Again, 15 year old. They got the, AD, the ADD. The ADD. <laughs> They had to have Hitler in there, though. The obligatory Hitler shot in a movie that's about that's to true. It's true. just that short little snippet in the dream sequence, which was a terrible dream sequence. Nonetheless, he has, like, one line about what we will become, something about the power we will become together. It's... And you did nail it. You said early on when they were showing the World War II footage that you were hoping to see Hitler with fangs, and you got it. Sure enough. Which, we, yeah. We need to talk about that World War II footage, by yes. the way. So it starts out with the World War II footage. Like legitimate World War II footage. And that's the only time you see it, and it gets to the end, and it shows more World War II footage. So you would think, hey, they did one thing right. They at least ended the same way they opened it. It was a nice bookend. And then there's a scene directly after that where they jump out of the back of a van or a truck of some sort in a German base. And she says, what? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I want to say something about a fiji not fiji A vida sane? Perhaps Nazis, maybe it was something like that. Yes, that's what it was. Guten Tag, <laughs> motherfuckers. And she runs and freezes and it ends. <coughs> it, it was over. Oh, man. That was the most anticlimactic ending. Also, I was expecting more, honestly, because when he gets... Excuse me. When he gets the blood and becomes OP, mm -hmm. the blood from the chick overpowers Rain. the Her chick. Rain. You want to give her a name? I didn't give her a name. That's salty about it. Her name. Anyway, her name yes. Rain. I suppose just to spe spe specify, Rain, her blood. She's supposedly the alpha vampire. He overtakes her. A normal man overtakes the alpha vampire who she changed him to begin with. So I don't know how that makes him stronger than her. Nonetheless, that shot, shot that fight, mm -hmm. like lasted good solid six hits before he gets his head smashed in mm -hmm. and that's it that's yeah. it i was expecting oh well okay what's the next thing that's gonna happen but i was like wait no they killed the doctor 
It really so is. Like, what's going to happen? It's just, and that's it. <laughs> that's the whole movie. They should have called it Blood Rain 3. That's it. Blood Rain 3 Blue Balls. Every time you think something's going to happen, no, that's it. Just get. Doctor's going to get his comeuppance. No, that's it. Drinks the blood. He's going to be a badass. Nah, no, that's it. We're holding on the scene for a weird amount of time. Something's going to happen, right? Oh, no, that was it. Blood Rain 3. That was it. Whew. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I for can't. making you watch that. I can't. I can't even. Yes, that was my choice, folks. <laughs> I mean, I want to pick one that's bad for the next one, but I mean, I would just be punishing myself also. It's true. I could care less. I enjoyed it in the sense of it was a film, but that's about the extent of me enjoying it. That was about it. It wasn't enjoyable in the sense of I had a good time watching this. No. It's a rough one. I found and myself laughing more than anything, honestly. How many other Uwe Boll movies have you seen? Well, judging by that list, I think maybe two or three, and one of them that comes off the top of my head was that Rampage movie. Yeah. I feel like I've seen that, that actor in a other movie that was actually a legitly good movie, though. Um, I don't know about legitly good, but I'm pretty sure he's in uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Mm. Pretty sure he's in the one in the Mental Institution. Maybe. I don't know. I just remember I've seen him in a movie that wasn't a bad the worst movie, movie yeah. ever. <laughs> For some reason, though, a lot of people like Rampage. And I don't get it. It's an awful, again, an awful movie where it's it's just the whole movie is just too edgy for me. I think that's just what it is, though. It's it's not a common movie to be watched or seen, I guess, maybe. So I might want to take out of it. I, I watched it. I thought it was okay, but, I mean, for what it was, I like this movie for what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else from the movie that jumps out to you as particularly interesting or bad? Do you know I how convenient bad. it was for them to have sex on... Whoa! Yes, the whole part of that. Yeah, I wrote that. Mm -hmm. They they were taken prison. Were they? Was it taken prisoner? They were they taken prisoner. Take they were ambushed in the warehouse and taken prisoner. And so they were in the back of a truck, mm -hmm. not cuffed, mm -hmm. not detained mm -hmm. in any sort of way whatsoever. No one watching them other than us. And put into the back of a truck, and she is passed out or sleeping on this man's lap. And he gives her a look, to which he follows a. Dodgy grope, which mm. thinks it's gonna go to the pants, cuts away scene, cuts back, goes for the boob. I'm trying to warm his fingers, obviously. No. Goes for the grope, she gets up, strongly dislikes this grope. Or so we thought. And then breaks into a hardcore sex scene where it's. Just, your prisoner's in the back of a truck. That's what are you doing? No, yeah. Remember how mad I was at uh, Fifth Element? No, it's a great movie. I remember I was real mad at how they just like each other just because. This movie is way worse. <laughs> this movie is much, much worse. It's she's she doesn't even like slowly go. Oh, I like you more. I like you more. It's just like, don't touch me. You creep. We fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking silly. Again, like I said, I think maybe they had some sort of established relationship in prior movies. Nope. Not that I'd ever go back to nope. watch it. Are you she sure? She met him the first time when they had that, that fight in the very beginning because he goes, oh, you must be in the name, whatever B word they kept calling her. Oh, I have it written down. It's, um, it was like Don, Don Fuhrer. That was the one. Don Fuhrer. Yeah. First time they met. Within the span of those two days of them barely talking, they're like, let's fuck. I'm not mad at him, but still. Kind of mad that he went for that grab. He gave that look, and I was just like, yeah, I knew he was going to grab her boob. And then he did it. He did it. Not only that, though, back on the train, I thought they train. fuck. It was a train in the beginning. We talked about trains. So go. <laughs> go ahead. Sorry. Um, It's just so convenient that they finish having their romp and they get dressed. Mm. Which is awkward. Just in time for the explosion to happen of the ambush party. The rebels to ambush the truck. Just, and maybe she has that ability to see in time and knows that she has this amount of time to 
get her rocks off and then get dressed. Now that you mention that, actually. She did also finish up with that massage lady just in time for the ambush to, to come bust in there, out the door with the Nazis with a knife in hand. It She's must be something that you just pick up along the way of your years of badassery. Being a vampire. Yeah, you just you like I know I have this specific amount of time before I have to whoop some ass. <laughs> <laughs> Get ass, whoop ass. Maybe it's just a recurring thing. Every time vampires fuck, <laughs> Something happens. there's going to be a fight shortly afterwards. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What else I got? The The armpit blood scene was great. Mm-hmm. Um, for those who've seen it, I'm sure you know. Spare yourself from watching it, though. Um... That's about all I really have. I, I do like how when they were fighting though early in the streets, the vampires together, they fought like the like like the Power Rangers do. They jump around and wail their arms with their swords. <laughs> yep. Yep. That was pretty neat. Uh, the script seemed like some of the lines were just a straight translation. That of bartender yeah. though just came and booped that weapon out of that man. <laughs> Frank, what was his name? Fred? I don't know. <laughs> I don't but, think he had a name, but whatever. It's like, Fred, take his weapon. <laughs> Got it. Done. Oh, man. Oh, and let's not... While well, we're talking about weird things happening. Find her. Alive. Alive. <laughs> Cutting out <laughs> words, I swear to God. Find her. Bring her to me. Alive. Oh, that's so much better. I just, I don't know what was happening. And does, like, was it all his choice? Do you think everything was to the T what he wanted that movie to be? Because I kind of think it was. I'll bet you he'll give Tommy Wiseau a run for his money. Oh, my God. If those two ever make a movie... Yeah, watching that shit the world will end <laughs> I think you know what it's gonna have the deepness of Tommy Wiseau maybe the slightly better dialogue it's an interesting it's an interesting uh, comparison though cause they're both equally bad but one of them is enjoyably bad and the other one is it's just frustratingly bad. <laughs> bad I think it's the fact that UA Bull makes nothing but bad movies yet still continuously finds funding for them Whereas Tommy Wiseau had his one movie, and it seemed like it's gonna have another one. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's been like 15 years. True. And he's only getting another one because everyone likes how bad the first one is. True. But so people keep paying him to make these movies that they know will be bad. I just think he gets a lucky streak of maybe some cult classics, and then decides to make more and then whatnot. I I mean, would you call Rampage maybe a cult? The closest thing he has to it, and it's I don't even know if I'd give it that. They probably weren't even made around the same time, though. Anyway, yeah, I just... It's an exhausting movie. It was a long hour and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. A long one. Like, The Shining is legitimately a long movie. I felt like this took longer. (laughs) Probably because a lot of time I was just stewing in anger. I'll say it felt long, but at the same time it felt short, just because it just had that terrible story which takes you nowhere. It's like playing a really cheaply made video game. You get the power ups, beat the boss, done. There's really no satisfactory ending to it because there wasn't a lot of thought that went into it. And that's one of the big criticisms people have of video game movies too. I don't remember if it was Doom or if it was another one, but um, Roger Ebert said it's about as thrilling as watching someone play a video game. And I mean, he's kind of right. When it's a really, really bad movie about video games, that's all it feels like. They don't make a whole lot of good ones, but when they do, you don't think of it like, oh, hey, these are video games. It's just like, this is a good movie. Also, I kind of know that character. Agreed. It's strange. I just, I get the feeling the big stipulation behind let's make a video game movie is let's stick to the character as hard as we can. Because I'm assuming maybe that's what they did in the first Blood Raid. I suppose after you go away from there, you just now have a character that you can throw around in any sort of setting. Mm-hmm. So I feel like any other movie like maybe Hitman, I haven't seen it, but I would assume that, hey, let's give this... This guy, his moments that he's had maybe in video games, so the players can have an attachment to the character in the film. I could be wrong, that's just my assumption. It's it's kind of tricky, because if you stick too close to the character, then there are going to be people that don't get everything that's happening, which kind of happened for me in the um, World of Warcraft movie. But then if you get too far away from the character, you're going to have the other half mad at you because it's nothing like the games. Which is maybe the problem I have with superhero movies, the early ones. Maybe. Yeah, right. Um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't, I suppose. Honestly, my personal preference would be kind of like um, what they're doing with Star Wars, where they're just taking that established universe and then telling another story. It's kind of like what Resident Evil did at first. Mm. Alice is not actually in any of the games. They just take that universe and tell their own story, which is part of why, to me, those movies work better. I can see it, yeah. 
You're not having to... It's not those huge hardcore fanboys that are like, hey, he didn't really do that, mm -hmm. or he's not supposed to look like that, or he doesn't do this, where, I mean, you get to keep that that ideal of how this is supposed to be, but this is just taking place in the other universe. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. Eventually, I mean, they, they have to be better at making I mean, that, did right? they kind of do that with Homecoming? Spoilers, maybe? Yeah, not really. Cause, I mean, they kind of straight like some of the characters weren't the real like people like. Wasn't well, yeah, I guess I, I yeah, that's true. They that's have true. the general character, but it's not to the T. It's like an alternate universe style of the character, but still somewhat similar. And they definitely borrow from different iterations of it. But I think the thing that Homecoming does right is that the changes they make to characters are good. Like they're interesting and they're fun. Again, might as well not talk spoilers about it, but I think I think that's something that superhero movies used to be shit on with their quality and their their everything. Yeah. Um, even if there were good ones here and there, like the original '89 Batman. Um, I shouldn't say original because it was the '60s, but I digress. They figured it out eventually. Yeah. And I'm waiting for video game movies to figure it out. I don't know what is holding them back because they keep getting. I think it's because it's an ever-changing field. I mean, with a video game comics, that, like, the only type of video games that have lasted the test of time for the most part at the time would have been Halo and, like, Gears of War. Like, it has a following that just keeps going, whereas, like, for example, why would we pick Blood Rain? It was a movie game, a game that had one type of game, maybe two, and that reign of its, <laughs> reign of it lasting was maybe four years? Maybe? I don't really know. Maybe I should have looked into that, but, like, where Halo has continued years and years mm -hmm. and years, so it had that ability to establish itself, whereas games, they have their hit in moment, and then we forget about it and move on to the next thing. And Halo might be one of the best options to be that movie that eventually turns things around. I mean... They kind of did that in a game sense with ODST. Yeah, they've, they've got that pre-established world that this at this point has so much they can pull from that it doesn't have to just be hey this is the initial story of the original halo game we're going to follow piece by piece they can focus on being a good movie just within that universe yeah uh, but they need someone to make the movie true because <laughs> that has been the issue so far but anyway straying far 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 away from the most terrible movie i've seen i i almost want to chalk it up for that to be honest with you i've seen a lot of bad movies but I, I struggle to pull good from this one, to be honest. I mean, if I am, I'm reaching for it because there's just... It's like we had the money, we had the ability to do it, but should you? you know? <laughs> I don't know if you they can, the, should you? They had the ability, but I don't think they had the talent. I don't know. The only thing that I could think positive to say about the movie the whole time was the locations were kind of cool. Croatia is an yeah. interesting looking place. Yeah. The little, her little hideout bell tower thing and that's all I can really remember but that that was nice that was nice uh, and then other sarcastic things like cleavage was I mean that was good but it's good in good movies too that's all I'm saying um what the fuck moment of the movie I already went over that 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 whole let's not go touchy touchy then engage in hardcore sex that was my what the mm -hmm. fuck moment honestly that's about all I could really pull yep. from it I had the same one the molesting to sex scene <laughs> 100%. 100% with you. Uh, <laughs> this is what I'm most excited for. Who's your MVP? I had two. <laughs> um, my first guess was Clint Howard, the doctor. Oh, no! Oh, it's you and Berlin. Just because I feel like if he wasn't trolling it, he was really trying for that role. Real trying for that mad German scientist role. But instead, I'm thinking I'm going more for the crazy amount of boobs in there. That's probably the only thing that maybe saved it from being something terrible. Even that didn't save it. It was just kind of a nice, hey, look, those are those are tits. Nice. To be honest, when you said you had two, I was really waiting for you to say uh, Blood Rain's tits. Or Rain's. <laughs> On the right. This is two movies in a row now where your MVP was my least favorite part of the movie. <laughs> I, just, I was I'm looking for to... something that saves it in a sense of... Who's trying too hard, man? Starting to question this one. Starting to question. Uh, my MVP was Drumroll. I don't want to. There you almost went for it. Uh, my MVP was the lady that shot the doctor, 
while he was running away. The little sniper lady. I don't. She didn't have a name. She was in the movie for all two seconds, as far as I know. And she goes, "Hey, that spot looks good. I'm gonna go there." And the guy says, "Okay, we'll be over there. Good luck." Let's go. Good luck. Walks away. He even says good luck too. Yep. Doesn't. Like, it wasn't a joke. No. Doesn't even turn and like pause and wait to be like, hey, I mean this. He's like, we will go over there. Good luck. <laughs> do what you do. Oh, she puts she her hat around even too. She does. That's she goes, goes Ash Ketchum on him. She goes, fuck Ash Ketchum. <laughs> and it was the best part of the movie. Oh no, I'm in the webs. I loved the sound the doctor made when he fell too. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and he, fell, he drops the bag and then proceeds to fall. Forward. <laughs> Either way. Did uh, they ever explain how they assumed that her blood would make them superhuman? Like uh, he just I think it was just the traits that she had the ability to do that normal vampires couldn't, which again goes back to do vampires exist because she took a shot, she was fine. She walked in the daylight, she was fine. Assuming what he was talking about earlier, like the the, the splash of the holy water wouldn't kill her so I mean yeah that brings us to our our final one what was your favorite scene um let's say the first two minutes the actual real footage of World (laughs) War II (laughs) I thought about doing the same one because it was legit I wouldn't say it's my favorite in the sense they're Nazis or anything but it's the it's the best shot one because it is historically accurate Mm. oh darn it I decided to go with the credits. <laughs> I knew you were gonna pull some shit like that. Credits were my favorite. I just, I felt just, oh, I was still real, real salty, mm-hmm. but I could feel it washing away. It was over. The cock rocky over. music though probably still kind of kept you in there. That rip off mud vein for sure. <laughs> it was just like, what's what's really hip right now? What's Saw Two using? Ugh. Ugh. That was so bad. Well. I would like to thank you for introducing me to my new least favorite movie of all time. <laughs> Le- what did it I should replace? say worst, not least favorite, but definitely the worst. What did it replace? Movie 43 is pretty garbage. Oh it looks better though, so I'll give it, they at least knew how to make a movie. Famous actors in it? Yeah, it's very tra- bad. Okay, yep, yep. I do remember saying that. The other, the other possible one was uh, The Devil Inside, I believe. Which had it also a very abrupt ending. Maybe one day I'll show it to you. <laughs> and you can be mad too. <laughs> Boy. <sighs> Shit. Thought I'd finish it by now. Well, that being said, do you know what our next one's gonna be? I've got some ideas, but I haven't I haven't chosen quite yet. I'll figure it out. Sounds good. Well, we appreciate you watching and sticking through. And maybe you'll thank us for possibly saving you from watching this incredibly terrible movie. Or if you want to watch it, hey, you know, it's maybe good background noise. Maybe not even that. Yeah, so don't do not do it without the assistance of substance. For sure. For sure. Anyway, you've been great. And yeah. Not gonna say bye. Bye.